This is Pamela Anderson, and um, when, oh, I don't know, one summer I was uh, working in my studio upstate, and I got a phone call from uh, her friend David LaChapelle, and he said, well, uh, he wanted to meet, commission me to make a painting of Pam for her wedding. And, I, you know, I got a phone call from Pamela Anderson. I said, well, sure, you know, she's an American icon. And I thought, well, you know, this will be fun. But I was really busy. I wasn't thinking about it. And then the, this mar the wedding broke up. So uh, the marriage broke up with Kid Rock. So, uh, you know, I thought, well, you know, she's not going to want to, he's not going to want a, a wedding present. <laughs> but I, at the same time, I got invited to be a, a collaborator with Parquet. And I thought, oh, I know, I'll put, I'll put her in the, in the um, centerfold of Parquet, and I thought it would really be funny, and they put her on the cover. Um, but I knew she was really going to be quite beautiful because I, um, I, I could tell from her bone structure. I'd seen pictures of her, but I also did a lot of research, and I also knew that she was um, a, um, very much a hardcore uh, animal rights activist. And I, I just assumed that I really still do. I guess I could be wrong. I'm sure there's exceptions, but that you know she was very empathetic and she you know couldn't tolerate any. This is the front centerfold one that was in the parquet. She could not tolerate any uh, cruelty towards animals. So um, I thought you know if I took the makeup off and gave her some bangs, I'll go back. And uh, you know you could see this really empathetic, pretty you know woman and. Um, I like the idea of taking icons and doing something you know you won't see uh, necessarily uh, something you would expect. And uh, she was totally game for it. She worked with Richard Prince and she worked with Jeff Koons, and she likes working with artists. So it, you know she was very brave to do this, to take all her makeup off and get in the shower at, and, and let me shoot her for two days. And this is the painting I made, and this is a total composite from different images. And it took me like I don't know. It took me about a year to make it. I was—I kept having to change the face, the mouth, because I thought if I just had the um, the um, famous, she has this famous tattoo of barbed wire, you'd know it was her. But she real—I really needed that mouth. And this is called Wettest Pam. And uh, this is a, a large painting in the show. And this is uh, Tanline, also in the show.